Alrighty, what's going on guys? You guys ready for round two here on St. John's Island? Because I'm not. It's hot, it's humid, I'm exhausted, still got a couple hours till the ferry comes, and there should, there should still be a whole bunch of different species out here I haven't caught even this morning. Uh, so I fished three spots this morning. You can check out the last video for how that went. I think we got about maybe a dozen or so different species, some repeats, some I've caught before, uh, and then some new ones as well. So for this second session here, we're just going to fish uh, some different spots that I did not fish this morning, different habitats, different environments, and hopefully uh, with the change in habitat and environment, we can get some different species that we didn't catch this morning. So still, uh, I got a small size 16 hook tied on just like I finished up with in the morning session. Uh, little bits of shrimp, we'll toss it around and let's see what we can get. All right, here's where we're gonna start our afternoon session. It's another kind of like rock pile jetty type thing. Here's our little bit of shrimp on a size 16 hook. We got two split shots above that. I'm just gonna flip this out here. The rocks extend to about there. So I'm gonna cast kind of right where the sand starts and where the rocks start, or where I guess where the sand ends and the rock starts. And we'll just flip this thing around and see what we can get here. Here we go. Let's see what this is. Uh, it's another anchor tusk fish. All right, so now I'm starting to get annoyed by these guys. There's so many. There's hundreds of different species of fish out there. And I just catch these guys. I think the first video, the first session here in the morning, I caught double digits of these guys. Definitely don't want to do that again. So let's let this one go. If I catch another one here, I'm going to move over to a different spot, try to find somewhere where these guys just, where, where they're just not as numerous as they are, or as they have been. There we go. Let's see what this is. That looks like another repeat from this morning. Yeah, so I think I caught a couple of these this morning. That thing that looks like it's related to the butterfly whiptail, but is not a butterfly whiptail. So I want to catch one more fish here, but if it's another repeat, we're going to go and find a new spot. Here we go fish on. It's a little one. What is this? So I think this is probably a diamond wrasse, even though it does look slightly different than a lot of the other diamond wrasses that I've caught. But on that note, we're going to throw this one back and we're going to go and find a new spot. Alrighty, here we go. Next spot, just kind of secluded cove type thingy with a lot of rocks. And I think I might have got the uh, the tides wrong because the tide is going out a lot faster, a lot sooner than I was expecting. So I might have screwed that up, but that's alright. We'll fish here and we'll see if we can get a different variety of species over here. go fish on as soon as I see that brown and yellow I know it's gonna be not what I want alrighty another anchor tusk uh, tusk fish nothing else I can say about this guy that I haven't already said so let's get it back and let's really really hope we can get some new species here before one the tide goes out and then two before I gotta take the ferry back little guy all 
So this might be the smallest one I've ever caught, but it's just another, what was it? Some sort of trunk fish, anchor trunk fish. Yeah, so remember in the morning how excited I was when I caught my first one? Well, little did I know that I was gonna catch maybe close to 20 of these guys over the course of the day. putting up much of a fight. Looks to be some sort of a damsel. So it is a damsel fish of some sort. We might have caught these guys this morning. It's the first one for the video. This one has green here on the ear flap, but I don't remember the other darker colored damsel fish this morning having that on the ear flap. I could be wrong, but this might be a new species for the life list. I'm not sure. Got one. Another tusk fish. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to matter if you drop your bait close to shore near the rocks or a little bit farther out. These guys are all over the place. Got something. I see yellow. I see brown. It's got to be another anchor tusk fish. Yeah, so there's got to be just a really, 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 really healthy population of these guys because I can't get away from them. See what we got. Oh, this is this is something new, I think. All right, some sort of a sergeant species look just like the sergeant majors we have down in Florida, except either this one's deformed or these guys have really, really weird mouths on them. But haven't caught this one before because it's different than the one we caught in the morning session. So pick ID later and let's get it back. I think it's a new one for the life list. Fish on. What is this thingy? Another one of those uh, thingies that looks like a butterfly whip tail that isn't. Yeah, so this guy's pooping all over the place. Between these guys and the trunk fish, there's no shortage of action. However, there's so many other species here, I don't want to catch these guys. So let's get them back. Let's keep trying. Alright, so I was walking back to the boat, and there's actually some cardinal fish down there that I don't think I have caught before. So let me drop this down. I don't want to just like throw it in there and spook him, so let me try to drop it in gently. One of them's coming over to take take a look at it. She took a look at it, hold on. Got him. Let's see what kind of cardinal fish this is. Yes, I don't remember ever catching one of these guys with the dark band on it and with all those little dots. So this, actually, you know what this reminds me of? The, uh, the black banded sunfish uh, that's native in the freshwater kind of swampy areas up and down the east coast of the United States. But let me throw that one back or he kind of threw himself back. And whatever that is, that's another new addition. Pretty sweet.
All right, just drop this down. I think there's like some pike fish down there or something tiny. I don't know if I'll be able to hook them or not because they are really, really small, but I can try. Got him. All right, so it's not a pipe fish. It's some sort of a half beak species. And unfortunately, right there, I broke off part of its beak. Obviously not on purpose. Um, yeah, so half beaks, that long little jaw only extends on either the up, I think it's on the bottom side. Let me see, yep, it's on the bottom side. If it opens its mouth, you can see over there on the top, it's only got very little bit of a mouth there, but the bottom is huge. So hopefully I could ID it and that'll be a new species as well. Alright guys, so clearly that's gonna do it. Uh, I am no longer on St. John's Island, obviously. I'm back at the hotel. Uh, I had to rush a little bit at the end there to catch the ferry back to the mainland, so I didn't have time to film a wrap-up. Um, it was an okay session, couple new species for the life list, would have liked to have caught more as always, and definitely would have liked to have caught less of those anchor uh, tusk fish. Way, way, way too many of those, not only in this session, but um, also especially in the morning session. Uh, they were just all over the place. But overall a solid day both in the morning and the afternoon session over on St. John's Island. More new species for the life list is always good. I had a pretty good time, even though it was exhausting out there. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.